Hey guys, welcome back to Moe's Game Table. Today we're going to take a look inside Defending America, Intercepting the America Bombers. This is a game designed by Gregory M. Smith and published by Compass Games. Greg Smith is a design machine and he just keeps cranking out these awesome narrative solo games that are just so much fun to play. And this one, you get to the flip side of the America Bombers game. You have Defending America. And the thing I'm real excited about this is We've got Marines in this one, so you know I'm definitely going to dig that. So let's take a look at the back of the box and see what this game's all about. Defending America is a solitaire tactical level game which places you in command of an actual or experimental interceptor aircraft during a frightening look at what might have been in World War II. Each turn consists of one sortie, during which the player will fly a mission to intercept America bombers, which are en route to bomb the mainland of the United States. As the player progresses, he may choose to upgrade to even more advanced interceptors in this alternate history game. Defending America is based on the action-packed America bomber game and reverses the situation with the player attempting to stop conventional and atomic bomb attacks on the homeland. It builds a strong narrative around the pilot as you look to earn skills, rise in rank through promotion, receive awards, and survive a dangerous year above the Atlantic Ocean and America. And our components we get 11 by 17 inch air operations map, a counter sheet, four single-sided player aid cards, five double-sided player aid cards, eight double-sided aircraft cards, one mission log, one rules book, and two six-sided dice, and one ten-sided die. And it's rated as a medium complexity, time scale is one game is one mission, map scale, area zone, unit scale, single aircraft, it is for one player, obviously it's solitaire, suitability for solitaire is high, and the average time to play is two to four hours, recommended for ages 14 and up. And here we see a Example of all the components we have. So let's take a look inside and see what you get. And we get our dice. We get 2d6 and 2d10. Little sheet of errata. Full color rule book. The sortie log. Where we keep track of all the sorties. Our player aids and aircraft mats all nicely bundled together, keep them from getting damaged. Our counter sheet, shrink wrap to make sure that the counters don't fall out. And the mounted map board. So let's set up the map and take a closer look at the game. And here's a look at the mounted bomber display map. This is where the Luftwaffe is going to start off their raids. You're going to start off here in the Azores, and they're going to be moving through each of the different zones. You will then try to intercept, and you'll be able to follow the sequence of play there, as well as keep track of different statuses along the sides of the board and on the board itself. And we'll take a look at the player aids that come with the game. Like I was just talking about on the bomber display mat, you will choose a target, and that will be done by using the A1 raid chart. What you're going to do is you're going to roll 2d6, and you're going to consult the month and the year, and that will be the target for the Luftwaffe. Next, we have the flight school sheet, which will give you the steps that you'll take to create your pilot. On the next sheet, we have tables that you'll be rolling on for different aspects of the game. Fighter damage, bomber defensive fire, attack results against bombers, bomber group damage, aircraft damage listings, and the bomber random damage table. On the back, we have the skills effects listing, the fighter damage chart, landing chart, parachute chart, and the weather landing chart. Then we have the position chart, which gives a nice tactical aspect to the game. You'll see the damage modifiers by approach and the damage modifiers by range on the left-hand side. Next, we have the pilot mats. This allows you to keep track of all the skills that you've earned for your pilots. Here we have the U.S. Army Air Force and the U.S. Navy. And on the next sheet, we have the U.S. Marine Corps pilot, as well as the B-1 interception tables. And we'll take a look at some of the bombers that you'll be dealing with in the game. On the front, we have the TA-400 and the Arado E-555-1, which looks pretty badass. And we have the ME-262 and the GO-229. We have the ME-364 and the HE-277. On the back, we have the Focke-Wulf 300 and the Junkers 390. And of course, the stars of these games are the aircraft. Here we have the P-80B Shooting Star. And on the reverse, we have the Bell XP-83 the F-89A Scorpion, XP-61 Black Widow, FH-1 Phantom, the F-2H-1 Banshee, which looks like a pretty sleek aircraft, the F-2H-2 Banshee, 
The FJ1 Fury, F8F1 Bearcat, and the 1B Bearcat, the F86 Saber, P80A Shooting Star, Convair XP81, XP67 Moonbat, the Boeing XF8B1, and the F7F3 Tiger Cat. And we'll take a look at the counter sheet that comes with the game. This is shrink wrap for a reason. These will punch out very easy, as I've said before, with the new Compass counters. If you touch them, they'll just come out in a strip. And uh, as I was doing this before, this just punched right out. So I'm just going to pop it right back out again. This is the way these will punch out. They'll just come out in a strip and then you'll just separate them uh, very easily from there. You can see that they're already kind of bending. So you just punch them out from uh, the counter sheet in a strip. And then you just separate them individually. And then, of course, if you want to, you can clip them. And the good thing is that they do punch right back into the counter sheet if they fall out uh, on their own in the strip. So it's not like before where you'd punch out individually. These will come out in a strip and then you just separate them that way. But you have your different aircraft, different bombers, all the different admin counters that you'll need to keep track of all the different statuses, your pilot, and the attacks going on throughout the game. Next, we'll take a look at the rules. This is a 23-page full-color rulebook. The inside of the front cover, we have the table of contents, which will list out all the different rules and their page numbers. Start off with the introduction, how to play the game, general overview, a game equipment, how to understand the different components you have in the game, the bomber display mats, pilot status chart, the game markers, how to read the markers, all the things we've already looked at. Then the sortie log sheet, so you can keep track of all your sorties. The game scale parts inventory and then game setup starts on page six you have your base assignment your start date you prepare your sortie log sheet aircraft display mat setup ammunition your basing how to keep track of all that changing bases target zones changing your aircraft flight school and then how to win the game is explained to you then we start the sequence of play on page nine remember this is a 23 page rule book so you start with your sequence of play about midway through the game the rest of it is all supporting text prior to that. And then we get into the procedures for all the different aspects like combat here, interception, you start your combat, your bombs, anti-aircraft damage, the combat phases, range effects on the bomber combat, gunner damage effects on bomber combat, damage reduction for increased to bomber defensive fire, combat against the escort, second passes, extended burst, all these are explained to you. Disengaging from combat, aircraft damage, damage to the fighter aircraft, and then your post-combat steps, aircraft loss due to battle damage, your force landings, your pilot injury, weather effects, parachuting to safety, and then your pilot skills and awards are explained to you here. Then we have random events, and then an extended example of play on page 16, so that'll help you jump right in if you've never played any of these games before. Pilot prestige, research track, reassignment to a newer aircraft, stopping atomic attacks, and then we have some optional rules on page 19. You have multiplayer, cooperative play, competitive play, and then the combination play with America Bomber, Evil Queen of the Skies, which is gonna be really cool because now you can tie the two together. You can have one player attacking America, one player defending America. I think that's really awesome. It should make for a great event at the Compass Expo next year. You have the variable enemy fighter pilot quality, the advanced combat against bombers. And then on page 21, we have the designer's notes as well as background and aircraft notes. U.S. Army Air Force aircraft in the game, Navy Marine Corps aircraft in the game, and then the selected bibliography on the last page. And then on the back of the book, we have the rules index. And that is a look at everything you get inside of Defending America, intercepting the America bombers 1947 to 1948, this is a game designed by Gregory M. Smith and published by Compass Games. This is a great sequel to America Bomber, Evil Queen of the Skies. You attack America in the one game, you defend America in this game. And if you've played any of Greg's games, you know what to expect. You have a great narrative that's going to unfold as you play. And the games are not difficult to understand. You saw in the rules, it's 23 pages. It, you didn't get the sequence of play till page 9. And then the rules pretty much ended at page 20. So like 11 pages of rules. Prior to that is all supporting information. And then after that is some research that you can follow up on later with bibliographies or if you wanted to understand different aircraft in a game, things like that. These are great games you can jump right into. And if you're a solitaire player and you've been curious about war games, this is a great way to uh, get a feel for it. Now, this isn't your standard hex encounter game. This is a narrative game. But I know a lot of solo players want that AI. They want that uh, procedure set up for them to have a story unfold. 
this will do that in aces for you this is just greg's systems are fantastic they're a lot of fun and i can't speak highly enough of them uh, when you want to just sit down and be the star of your own story greg smith games is where you go to well i hope that helps you guys out if you've been curious about this one if you have any comments or questions post them down below thanks for tuning in guys see you next time